The solar technology with the highest potential to increase conversion efficiency while significantly reducing cost is concentrator photovoltaic technology, termed CPV. Kamal Renewable Energy Team has taken technology originally developed for space satellites and created a design for large-scale commercial power generation. This video shows the pilot system in production at the Kamal facility in Michigan. Kamal first started some two years ago to design the manufacturing solution for the CPV module. With funding from the Department of Energy, we were then able to design and manufacture this pilot build system. In order to prove the benefits of the automation technology and to produce CPV panels for the first 100 kilowatt system. The manufacturing process begins at this station, where a precise amount of thermal adhesive is applied to the underside of a batch of photovoltaic chips in a specific pattern. Here, a batch of heat sinks have been loaded to the nests. The robot obtains the heat sinks three at a time and loads them to a tray of photovoltaic chips on which the thermal adhesive has been previously applied. To ensure the correct pressure is being applied to the heat sink for the proper thermal adhesive distribution, a weight pallet is applied to the top of the tray. The tray of heat sinks and photovoltaic chips, together with the weight pallet, are transported to a pull-off conveyor and moved into an oven to cure the thermal adhesive. Once cured, the plate assembly is returned to the cell. Here, sealant is applied to the heat sink assembly prior to being joined to the receiver wall assembly. The heat sinks are screwed to the receiver wall assembly. Conducting strips joining the cells in a series connection are picked and held in location by one robot while another robot solders them to the receiver wall assembly. The receiver wall assembly is moved to an adhesive dispense system from which the optical bond and conformal coat is applied. The light shield is then installed into the receiver wall above the PV chip. The secondary optical element is collected and then accurately positioned to the receiver wall assembly. Adhesive is then applied to the secondary optical element. The adhesive is then cured with ultraviolet light. The secondary optical elements are then sealed to the receiver wall assembly. After curing, the receiver wall undergoes a number of electrical tests. Once the chassis is placed in the load fixture, silicon is dispensed over the receiver wall mating surface. Then the receiver wall is obtained from the conveyor and loaded to the chassis.
Once the receiver wall installation is complete, the assembly is transported to the mirror installation fixture. Each of six mirrors is then obtained from a load table and epoxy is applied to tabs on the back side of each of them. The mirrors are then snapped into the chassis and held in place during the epoxy cure. Once the mirror installation is complete and the epoxy cured, adhesive for the glass cover is dispensed around the perimeter of the chassis. The glass is then obtained from the low table and placed onto the chassis. A series of electrical tests are run on the now completed module before it is loaded into the panel frame. The completed module is then held in a precise position by one robot, while the other robot performs the welds to join it to the frame. After all the modules have been welded to the frame, the CPV panel is now complete and ready for dispatch.